Hey everybody, I'm here at Pyramid Fights 13. Man, what a night. 11 fights, they all delivered. I mean, this card was just underrated from the beginning and it turned out to be fire, man. Man, you took out Springfield's uh, Fusion Tony Grant. Yeah. Man, take us through it. Man. It's the man back in town. I'll tell you what happened. Yeah, he didn't know, did the man the thing. What's the man do? He does his thing. Exactly. He didn't stop, man. I mean, you just kept on. You kept moving. You kept moving. Yeah. He had you hurt. Yeah, Take us through it, man. Man, let's tell you, I knew I was going to get it on the stand-up. I probably made him nervous. I probably hit him with a good combination or two. And uh, he went straight for the takedown like I knew he was. Instead of, like, trying to resist it fully, I knew where he was going to end up. I knew he was going to end up in side control. So from there, that's where I was going to work. Working my underhooks, try to jailbreak, get to guard, and try to get back to my feet. Dang it. And he scrambled real well. I ended up on bottom uh, in a dog fight, what we call a semi-turtle. He sparred on top of me. I had a single leg. Picked him up with a high okay, cross, slammed him on his back, yeah, yeah, and we yeah, was yeah. back and forth. I mean, it was a real great fight. He hit me with some big shots. I hit him with some big okay. shots. And uh, I knew at the end of it I was going to get the finish if I just kept digging deep. But I appreciate it. Man, I, we were sitting over there, me and Bianca. I said, Bianca, where's he bleeding at? Where's he bleeding? Because I was worried about it was going to get in your eyes, and you weren't going to be able to see, and it was going to throw you off. But, it did. man, it just... We, we, we grab a blindfold at Rock City and it makes it real from time to time. Well, you never know when you can't see in a fight. I know, I know it seemed like when that blood started coming out, that's when you got your strength, man, because you woke up. Yeah. I don't know. I, I thought you was hurt, but, man, you woke up and you just kept moving, and, wow, man, what a no. performance. Because this man right here, that's the head coach of Brick City. <laughs> I was, Melbourne, I was watching City, him over there, man. <laughs> he was steady. Go he, he did this work. He did the work. It wasn't anything. He just needed to believe in himself. That's all it was. He has all the talent in the world. He has the sky is the limit for him. No one can stop him. He just has to believe in himself, and that's what he did. That's why it makes Trevor such a great human being. There he shouldn't go, be brother. in the position that he's in. He shouldn't be here. I turned the dreadhead hitman tonight. Here we go. We got the dreadhead hitman and 135 champ. Man, I mean, pretty much the same way. I mean, you, you heard him, but then he just kept coming and coming and coming. And, I mean, what, 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 what pushed you through it, man? I mean, family, my teammates, man, my teammates, glory to God, my teammates, they push me, they keep pushing me, and they keep getting better, keep getting better, every day, 1% better every day, man. I know, I know, I know, uh, you know, I know it would probably frustrate a lot of people, but, you know, at the end, at, right before the end of that first round, you kicked him in a low blow, and Rocky didn't see it, and, he, and then you started uh, ground and pounding, and he, and he called the fight, and then all of a sudden, they, wait a minute, man, it's not over. What, what was going through your mind at that, that moment? Why you Trevor, thank you, man. Love you, brother. Thank you. I'm going to get this up. Why you got my energy, yeah, and stand of course, we're on the cage. Shot the five was over. I mean, I mean, it's obvious you thought you'd already won the fight. Cause but sparks us. First thing, sometimes you some, some step in the way, hop over to keep going. Keep pushing. Yeah. Uh, we don't stop. That's, that's part of Rock City. Uh, we, we grind hard every day. Every day, we do this every day, so it is what it is. I know, man, this, this was really a big, big win for you tonight. And uh, I know it's really boosted your uh, ego, man. And So what's next? I mean, here you've got 12, 13, well, you got 13 fights. Uh, I got a lot. Got what, a lot. what, man? I mean, you got to make some of that money. I got to get the bread. I got to get the, uh, we're going to sit talk to my coach. Find out what's next and keep it moving. But I want to fight here over the best is. Uh, best man away in Arkansas. Let's keep it moving. All right, man. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, anybody you want to give a shout out to, man? You can take all the time you want. Shout out Rock City. Shout out my family. Rock City MMA. The Woods Elite, all my sponsors. You know who you are. Shout out to everybody that believe in me. We're on our way to the top, though. Yes, sir. Hey, the Dreadhead Hitman. Nathan Gilmore. Good job, brother.